video. Today, we're answering the question of day four of our seven days telekinesis challenge. I've got many questions, so let's begin. Ignatius the Green Light asks, Can I use a side wheel? Or should I start with a pen or a bottle for telekinesis? And can telekinesis be blocked by other telekinesis or objects or magnetic electric fields? Does training the brain, like solving problems, doing math, etc., also increase telekinetic powers? I hope there are not too many questions. No, there are not too many questions. You can start with a side wheel. It's a great way to start telekinesis. But you can practice with different objects. You don't have to just pick one. Do the side wheel, then do the pen, then do the bottle, and then start over. Telekinesis can be blocked by magnetic fields. I find myself sometimes in a storm that my tele telekinetic powers are weaker. Sometimes they're stronger. I'm still trying to figure that out. And yes, training your brain helps with telekinesis. Doing your homework, reading, solving math issues, or a Rubik's Cube, a puzzles, those things help with telekinesis. Omar X Gamer asks, what do you think when you meditate? The idea of meditation is that you can clear your mind, that you learn to how to focus, that your thoughts don't fly away, that you focus on not thinking anything every time you feel sensations in your body or some thoughts are coming up. Just think. Darkness. Nothing. That's the idea of meditation. Irish Rocks says, When did you move a, an object for the first time and what is the period of time you've taken to that? Please tell me, Guru. Did you tell this to friends or to people? First time I moved an object was a door, and I was a child. I didn't think much of that, so I didn't tell anyone. When I grew older and I learned more about telekinesis, I told a few people, but those people thought I was crazy, so I stopped telling people. Eventually, I made a YouTube channel and showed my telekinesis online and then you know what happened the government found me trapped me and the rest is history so be careful whom you're gonna tell that you're doing telekinesis Chakras and 
would you say the breathing technique you use is based off of the Wim Hof breathing method? Yes, Wim Hof has a big inspiration on this breathing method. He did not invent it. The, this breathing method is thousands of years old. And when I meditate, I do not focus on specific chakras. I focus on clearing my mind. Because from there, you can train those chakras. Syntax Dakot asks, Is it true that gamma waves are used for telekinesis? No, it's not gamma waves. Gamma waves are something completely different. Gamma waves are actually pretty dangerous. Jitchik Jussi asks, Oh my god, you said Namaste, you know Hindi? No, I do not know Hindi. I just meditate a lot. And by the end of the meditation, I'd like to say Namaste. Knowledge Industry asks, Guru, my name is Vakwa, and my question is, is there any kinesis that can heal your wounds and heal the burned part of our body, like your face? Yes. Through my diet, by fasting and not eating as often, and keeping my body in shape, through the meditation and positive energies, that's how I can heal my body. And my face scars look way better already. Obviously, it's not perfect yet, but it's gonna get there. Our thoughts have a lot of energy. Don't forget that. DZ Hero Death says, Guru, sorry again for the topic, but I want to clarify one thing. I was stopping practice in telekinesis for a few months, and now I will restart, restart the telekinesis practice. So I have that, for example, I have not have any connection object. If I take new objects, I. So, which method is the best with your thought? I hope you understand. I'm glad you're back. But when you stop practicing telekinesis, you basically have to start over. You know how, how they say when you it's like learning how to ride a bicycle, you will never forget. With telekinesis, it's not just like that. You have to keep practicing every day a little bit. And which method? It's totally up to you. In the end, you will have to learn both methods anyways. So practice the breathing, build the connection to the object, and then Imagine the, the, the object moving. If it doesn't move, try to ignore that and try to focus on nothingness, just on the emotion towards the object. Either one can, can do telekinesis. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope that was helpful and see you soon to the next day of telekinesis day five. Have a good day.